So hello, everyone. Welcome back to the final and the last installment of the Pacific Data Summit of the Pacific Data Summit 2023. And uh, this is definitely not going to be the least. So today we have here our guest, Dr. Sheikh Farad Hussain, all the way from Tokyo, Japan. So as you already know that we are going to have a session on the data science uh, and the data science in the job market in the Japan. So without further ado, let's just uh, welcome uh, Dr. Hussain. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Um, thank you. May yeah, sure. I sh uh, share the slide? Yeah, sure, sure. Please. Go ahead, sir. One thing, guys, for all the questions, I would request you guys to add the questions in the Q&A chat, uh, the tab, so that we can take up the questions from there. We will take all the questions after the session. Okay? Okay. Thank you for giving this opportunity to talk about data science job market in Japan in this platform. Uh, I am Sheikh <laughs> Farhad Hussain. Uh, I live in uh, my home country is Bangladesh. It's near to India. And I live in Japan, in Tokyo. I came in Japan 2018 for PhD. And another uh, purpose was to stay in Japan and get high salary. Uh, because you know that in Southeast Asia, most of the country and the salary, their job environment, it's a little bit low than the first world country. So uh, the first uh, reason was for higher study. And the second reason was uh, leading a good life uh, with uh, high salary and other facilities. So basically, I am working as a data scientist and a researcher from 2021 and Tokyo, Japan in an AI company. Basically, it's a farming company. I used the weather data and others and uh, I implement the uh, and using the sensor and others data. I make the model and, and, and help and support the farmers. And uh, I, I completed my master's in ICT from Bangladesh University in Technology and Bachelor in Computer Science and Engineering and Technology. Okay, sure. So, uh, uh, also I studied in America uh, for English study and uh, for in University of Hawaii. Uh, and later on, I came in Japan for working purpose. So uh, I basically, I worked uh, in three company in Japan. Uh, this is my last company uh, as a data scientist and AI researcher in previous uh, job also AI engineer. So there are lots of field in Japan uh, uh, for data scientist and data science field. So I'll try to show the data science field and its situation, salary, uh, why data science is important uh, uh, for getting job and it's easy for the Southeast Asia and everything. I'll try to um, I'll try to show its importance and why data science is uh, more uh, important for producer uh, as uh, after IT. So recently, IT is leading the world, but most recent uh, this data scientist is very important than IT. So, okay. So, aging labor shortages and wedding gaps. Actually, Japan is by some measures the oldest nation in the world with 
29.1% of people over 65 deaths for out of space birth and by 2050 the population is expected to shrink by a fifth the workforce is contracting the society security burden is growing so day by day the japanese uh, population is decreasing and it is making a huge problem for the japanese nation and uh, this is the uh, population curve uh, and present situation on Japan. Uh, Japanese population has fallen for the 12th consecutive year as deaths rise and the birth rate continues to sink. According to government data, population is stood at 124.49 million in 22, representing a decline of 5,56,000 from the previous year. So the population is very, pollution crisis is a very vital crisis in Japan. So, young, working and old population. Uh, as you see in the graph, uh, working age in Japan is 15 to 64, and uh, the actual forecast and uh, the old and others. Uh, from the graph, we can see labor shortages are becoming more apparent in Japan. There are 14.6% young people aged less than for 15. The population of uh, person of productive age, age uh, 15 to 64, is 67.9% uh, of the total, while old people age 65 or older, numbering account for the other 17.3%. So it's a huge burden for Japanese government to take care of the old people and getting the worker younger young worker so day by day it's becoming more crisis in japan and japanese people also and present they are not interested to birth child so more it's making more labor demand and less worker apply. Labor shortages are becoming more apparent in Japan. Okay. So if you take a work in Tokyo, you will see the sign, Estapu Boshuchu, means Estap wanted. This business often find it's impossible to recruit the workers by need. According to recent statistics, for each job seeker in Japan, applying to work as an IT or data scientist or as a worker or any kinds of field, there are more than three available positions. Means one is to three job uh, to job to worker ratio. So uh, recently, and the corona and other situation in all over the world, the, so there are lots of people are getting unemployment. So in uh, so in in con contrast in the world, Japan is the reverse scenario. Here, lots of job circular, but employee is very low, and few number of people are searching job. Uh, and the, but the number of uh, ampl uh, job circular is huge. So there are lots of opportunity in Japan to get a expected job and to live happily with high salary. Here is the uh, recent search in Google Trend for data science job market in Japan. So you, are, you can see that's the day by day, the data science job are uh, increasing. So uh, if uh, someone asks, are data scientists in demand in Japan? 
So I, I definitely say yes. I presume question implicitly in asking whether Japan has a sizable number of data scientist opportunities. And hence, I will answer that. Similar to United States, States, uh, state, states, at least the tech and financial industry regularly hiring for data scientist position. So it's demand day by day increasing uh, uh, instead of uh, with uh, others country, others uh, like uh, America, Japan, and so uh, for that's Japan is uh, Asian country. So it's very uh, close to our Southeast Asia and we have the opportunity uh, if we learn data science, data science and start the job in Japan. So also this is the uh, salary comparison uh, with uh, uh, other uh, sector and uh, as well as the country. So uh, most of the circular and uh, from the statistics and the estimated total pay for a data scientist is uh, 70 to 90 thousand dollar per year in Tokyo and if you know the advanced level um, knowledge uh, about statistics and uh, mathematics and coding and uh, machine learning deep learning you will get higher salary but this is the average case uh, for of the salary uh, it's a very huge amount uh, uh, I think so what is needed for for data scientist and if you want to uh, become a good data scientist who is skill do you need so basic skill is uh, mathematics statistics uh, statistical analysis and probability uh, hypothesis while mathematics skills are often not necessary for general purpose coding Data science is another story and uh, calculus, algebra, probability, statistics are the four mathematical area that matter the most in data science. So uh, you have to learn this uh, basic four area and plus uh, you have to um, uh, good, you have good command in data visualization, Python, Yes, uh, SQL, no SQL, social media mining, fundamental statistics, natural language processing, Microsoft Excel, Power BI, Taboo, and uh, mathematics, and also communication and uh, all like this. So also, and cloud computing is another vital for data scientist and data science field. So uh, there are lots of area uh, you have to gain in, in good command or mastery or get a job in data science. So importance of uh, importance of Japanese language. Actually, uh, 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 if you come in Japan without Japanese language, uh, it will be very difficult to survive in Japan. And uh, most of the time, uh, almost 99% uh, job circular are required for Japanese language. Uh, so getting here and finding a job is not easy without Japanese. Once you have uh, been in Japan for a while, we recommend you learn at least conversation Japanese because, uh, because otherwise you, you are closing a lot of door. So, learn Japanese as much as possible. And uh, if you come in Japan, it will be uh, easily you will get the job, getting smarter to live in daily life, making friends, enjoying your time in Japan more, understanding the culture of Japan, becoming more disciplined, achieving personal goal and job using Japanese language school. And there are lots of opportunity uh, if you know the Japanese language. And uh, also uh, out of Japan, uh, as Japanese are technically very high level uh, company and they are uh, company are uh, most of the company are multinational. So their companies branches are located uh, all over the world. So if you know the Japanese language, you don't if and you don't want to come in Japan, okay, it's okay, but you can work in Japanese company 
in your country or in any preferable country. So it's a very important uh, for working in Japanese uh, company, uh, not only in Japan, outside of Japan also. So I am sharing with you uh, some Japanese school. You can uh, contact with this school if you want to learn Japanese uh, and you, if you want to come in Japan. Uh, those schools also offer evening class or remote class using Zoom. Uh, so if you uh, complete JLPT, Japanese language proficiency N5 and N4, it's very easy to come in Japan. And after coming to Japan, you can apply any types of job uh, that you are um, very good. And, uh, and day by day, you can change your job and you can reach your target uh, in, your, in your goal. So I recommend you, um, uh, besides study the data science, you should also study the Japanese language if you want to come in Japan and want to get a job in Japanese company. So, like, so this is uh, this website is very important. Uh, it will help you to contact uh, with the high school. Okay. And next, uh, this is my present company. Actually, it's a, uh, a smart farming company. Uh, basically. Uh, although I am not mentioning the name of this company, uh, okay. So basically, this is our service. Uh, we use the sensor, uh, sensor data. We use the uh, data related to agriculture, uh, such as environmental sensor, weather, market condition are automatically collected as as possible, and so producers are only required to enter growth record and harvest. And uh, we suggest the farmer the planting time. Uh, we predict the harvesting time and harvesting amount. And uh, as Japan uh, export lots of pro farm, farm uh, agricultural product outside of Japan, uh, and uh, and as well as uh, the Japanese agriculture J provide the agricultural product to supermarket. And uh, most of the time, supermarket asked them uh, what will be the amount of the next week or next to next week. So they prepared their vehicle. And uh, so it's uh, very important uh, if they predict the amount or um, the quantity. Uh, and uh, most of the time, uh, we predict, and it's uh, plus minus 20, it's uh, tolerable. Uh, if uh, tolerable prediction, and uh, we always suggest the farmer are, are about their um, uh, about their uh, agricultural condition. And uh, Japan is a cold country, so eight months uh, all over all eight months it's uh, stay in cold. So there are lots of greenhouse and. Uh, for making proper care in the greenhouse, uh, we also offer IoT uh, and others uh, temperature measurement. So everything is uh, automatically our company is offered. And also uh, in Miyazaki, it's a huge area tea, pla tea are planted. So it's very difficult to see manually the health of the tea leaf. So uh, by using a drone, we captured the image of the tea leaf and it's sent to the server using the machine learning, especially in LSTM, uh, it's uh, detect the health of the tea. And, uh, and uh, based on the tea leaf color, uh, we measured its chemical, um, chemical um, conversion and who is uh, tea leaves is uh, good, for, uh, for good for harvesting. So lots of uh, application of data science. Uh, uh, so, and uh, how to get a job in Japan? So my experience, uh, some way for uh, job search in Japan. So J Rek in portal, J Rek in uh, it's a very important and um, job link uh, in Japan. And also you will find uh, in uh, LinkedIn. And you can also communicate uh, with uh, the recruiting company. 
and also if you have the senior in Japan. So there are lots of way uh, for, for finding the job in Japan. So and uh, the interview in Japan is almost is takes five step or six six step. Uh, prepare self introduction. First, you should uh, make a self introduction. If it's in Japanese, uh, your self introduction is good for uh, getting a job. And also prepare answer for some commonly question and give short and precise answer as well as supporting information or evidence. Uh, so for example, uh, past experience or achievement. And while you will face the viva, you should be confident and uh, show your motivation. A request, uh, if you are mm, not good in Japanese, uh, uh, politely request to the, mm, the recruiter I want to um, speak in Japanese. And uh, before uh, take part in any um, interview, make a practice. So, and uh, another issue is uh, uh, at the first uh, interview, if we face the inter first interview in Jap uh, Japanese company, uh, it's better to make a presentation, briefly introduce yourself, and you should request to the company that you want to present a slide for self introduction. Uh, okay, so because if you show a slide for self introduction, it will be easy for the recruiter to know because uh, most of the time the voice is not uh, clear or the pronunciation is not familiar with the Japanese uh, people. Uh, English is uh, actually pronunciation is different uh, in region to region. So uh, it's better to present a slide and try to complete the slide within five to seven minutes. And the number of slides should be maximum six. Keep a smile face all the time because Japanese people always try to get uh, the jolly minded and excited uh, candidate uh, because they are job environment like this. They didn't take any pressure. Uh, before answering or uh, take a before answering take a little time to think and slowly answer the question sometimes uh, if you uh, answer your very quickly it's maybe not good or maybe recruiter can't guess so you should slowly talk with them and also uh, you know, don't give up starts a focus in LinkedIn and learn more about the field of industry you are interested in. Mostly, it's very important. Uh, if you uh, want, to, want, to, want to do or join a company, first you have to go through the company website it's very clearly because if, you, if they think you, you don't know about the company, they will not proceed the next step. So you have to go through all the information of the website of the company and make a note and uh, try to show that you are totally aware about the company, company production, company culture, company uh, product, so everything. And uh, there are some common questions uh, during of interview in Japan, so you should prepare about this. Uh, why did you decide uh, to study in Japan? Or if you study in Japan, so it's a very common question. If outside of Japan, so they can ask, why did you decide to work in Japan? So like this. And uh, describe your strength and weakness. So it's a very important question. So you should uh, show your strength and make a cause that why you are a strength for this and what is your weakness also show this cause, but make it positively. Okay. And why did you apply to our company? Why did you choose to apply for this position or department or industry? What do you think you can contribute to our company? And how do you see yourself in five years or 10 years from now in our company? It's a very common question. 90% common question, this six number. And do you want to focus only in research or might as well as contribute to our business contribution? So 
as a Japanese company recruit most of the time uh, as a researcher, uh, plus others. So research is a very common in Japan. So uh, this question also is very common. Uh, do you want to focus uh, only in research or might as well contribute to our business development? How do you think about Japanese culture, usually if you to working culture, so you should mention some Japanese culture, why you choose Japanese culture and which type of culture do you like? What type of food do you want to prefer and why? So like this. And does your company support you to do job hunting or work in Japan? So they also very emphasize the family. So it's a very important question. Uh, if you Right, answer there is your family is totally agree to work in Japan and why. So please describe yourself and describe about your uh, co curriculum or volunteer activities or work experience. So in Japan, is volunteer activity is very important because they think all men is for others. Uh, so they also help each other. So it's very important uh, for involving volunteer activities. So uh, you should mention your CV, yeah, what kind of volunteer activities you have done. Uh, will you continue to improve your Japanese proficiency after the entering the company? It's very important because the Japanese people always uh, emphasize their Japanese language. So it's also a condition to enter the Japanese company. So they always try to improve your Japanese level. Sometimes they also admit you to the Japanese school if you if your um, uh, working experience is uh, is very high. So in that case, they also invest you. How did uh, you know about our company? So you should uh, clearly understand, clearly say using LinkedIn or others. Uh, I know your company and I studied your website and now I am very interested to work with you. So like this, how many companies have you been applying so far? So you can say one or two or others. Uh, so it's if it's pretty high, uh, so it will make um, difficulties because they thought uh, every company is rejecting you so like this. So two or three is okay. And uh, why? you choose this on and why others company not choose you like this. Uh, what are the criteria for you to choose the company to apply for? Uh, so like this uh, and uh, do you prefer working individual or team? So definitely we'll answer the uh, question. Uh, so the question is uh, I um, prefer uh, in teamwork because uh, teamwork is very important in Japan because uh, uh, it's uh, they didn't prefer individual work and uh, teamwork is the most important. So uh, I think the slide is end now. If you have question, please. Yeah, hi. So we have a few questions. First one is, so if I apply for a position in Japan, then whether I should learn Japanese language first? Uh, Yes, uh, I think you should study Japanese as well as you should also search the job because uh, if your background is very high, so and if you can speak little bit Japanese and Japanese people will hire you and uh, they also admit you in the Japanese school. So and uh, today or tomorrow you have to learn Japanese. So uh, Japanese language is very important for stay in Japan, not only for job, but uh, for daily life, because uh, they didn't use uh, any other language in the market shop. And uh, most of the people didn't uh, know the Java English language. Mm, only the university professor and other students uh, can speak English, but their pronunciation not so good. Okay. Uh, there's another question. Is there any possibility to face racism in Japan, especially against Indians? Yeah, and uh, there are lots of Indian people are doing good research in Japan. Uh, also, they are also uh, seated the high position in Japanese company. 
so uh, and there are lots of uh, Indian hacking uh, I mean, it's recruiting people, recruiting company are in Japan. So it's very easy for Indian people because uh, the Indian people are huge amount of uh, people, and, and uh, they are also in, uh, in Tokyo and others. Uh, they and they have a good position. Uh, yeah, we have another question. How is the work culture in Japan? Is there a work-life balance? Actually, uh, Japanese people uh, are very uh, committed to work and their promise and timing. So uh, you already know that uh, the Japanese uh, bullet train, Shinkansen, uh, can't let it over 10 seconds. So and uh, also as uh, at the same at the same similar in the their job you can't uh, late or in the office. Uh, if you, but also um, uh, company wants you you to work over time, and but you can't uh, comply or you can want the compensation or others facility for work time because they love uh, work. And, uh, uh, but at the end of the year, yeah, the, if the company make the high profit, you will get the uh, big bonus. So it will cover your work time. So most of the company uh, want their, com their employee stay at office uh, and should uh, do the work time. And uh, they also, um, uh, they also uh, want the most of the employee work together not individually, the others, the one and the, as a team, not individually. And uh, they are, uh, and they have freedom. When, if you have uh, sleep time or if you are sleepy mood, so you can sleep. Uh, if you want to go to outside, okay, it's okay. And uh, and another issue, uh, I know about in Bangladesh, uh, they, in Bangladesh, the casual leave is 20, also in Japan, but, uh, uh, the, most of the time we apply for casual leave and uh, we request our boss. But in Japan, you just uh, send a message, I want to stay holiday. And uh, the holiday is also divided two part, first half and second half. And also the holiday or casual leave you can use for two years. So, and uh, also in, uh, in my country, Bangladesh, uh, if there is a holiday, uh between um uh, between uh, a work day so most of the time they count the uh, holiday with the work day extra so but in japan is holiday is holiday uh, so there are lots of uh, facility and very uh, employment friendly environment in japan okay that's wonderful to hear we have another question is, is there any possibility for work from home? Yeah, uh, still now I am working from home uh, from two years. So, and you will find a uh, lots of job uh, circular in LinkedIn, work from home. So, and uh, Rakuten is uh, all a pretty big company in Japan. Uh, they are recruiting lots of uh, data scientists, IT engineer, and they are very flexibility uh, for work from home. Uh, corona actually corona shows that work from home is also effective and saves uh, save the electricity internet line and office cost so uh, now well, japan is 30% uh, or 40% company uh, prefer to work from home okay so is there any possibility of getting a work from home from india or we have to like live in japan to get the work from home uh, actually, work from home in Japan is possible, but Japanese are very crucial about uh, their security. Uh, before joining any company, you have to uh, sign a contract paper if you leak their data or share any uh, theme with others. So they are very strict about this. And uh, also your computer and others, they make the high security uh, security system. Uh, even uh, if you enter the company, most of the time you make to switch off your mobile phone. So in from this view, uh, it's very difficult to work from out, outside from Japan because there is a probability to leak the data. 
So, uh, but some company allow, uh, and sometimes uh, when we take, uh, when we visit our country for one month, we request uh, another month, uh, another one month to stay from home. Uh, and I will, I will support from home. So it's allowed. But uh, permanently work, work from my home country, it's very difficult. Yeah, it's pretty understandable. So we have another question. Are the Japanese very particular of their culture? And they try to impose their culture on the foreigners? Or is it very easy for international people to live there and not know some of the cultures? Yeah, it's very easy uh, for others people. Uh, basically, the Japanese culture uh, is also an initial culture. So uh, uh, for Indian people, it's very familiar with Japanese because uh, you know that uh, the Indian people also drink alcohol and uh, fork uh, in Japanese called butan, butaniku. So also the same. So in eating habit and uh, prayer habit, it's similar to Indian, but sometimes it's difficult for the Muslim because most of the time we face the fork and alcoholic uh, party. So we say, and we try to this uh, uh, re remove from the, um, or give distance from the, those things. Uh, but uh, for Indian people, it's okay, uh, as well as if you belong in Hinduism. So it's okay for you. And also the, in, uh, in Nara, Nara come from the Narayan. So it's the uh, Narayan means Sri Krishna. So also there are lots of festival uh, uh, like uh, Narayan and Balaram Bhadra. It's uh, also belongs to and um, Japanese culture. So it's good for Indian people. Yeah. Okay. So uh, th this there's uh, this next question, and I'm curious about it as well. So how difficult it is to learn Japanese, and how much Japanese should you know to get into the it's data science industry? Uh, and Japanese, actually, uh, Japanese, uh, there are five levels, JLPT, Japanese language proficiency, five, four, three, two, one. So five and four is, uh, uh, if you get, uh, if you reach uh, JLPT in two, um, is fourth level from five, three, two, um, five, four, three, two, uh, you will get a good job and high level job. Uh, and, uh, but, uh, okay. And uh, we'll be very good in Japanese language. So primarily you should study JLPT-5 and JLPT-4. Uh, if you complete JLPT-5 at the primary level, uh, you can apply uh, for any job or else. Uh, my suggestion, you should apply as a language student uh, to the school and complete another two level. JLPT four and JLPT three uh, within one years. Okay, uh, six months in six months is uh, is level, and if you complete JLPT N three, uh, you will understand the Japanese listening and daily life activities, uh, and uh, you should join a company then, and you should continue the Japanese language uh, for JLPT N two. And it will take one year uh, beside your job. And if you complete it, you have no, you will not face any kinds of problem in the job and your daily life. So my suggestion, uh, try to do better in data science beside uh, Japanese language and uh, try to contact with Japanese company or school. And, uh, and if you, complete just single level on JLPT-5, you can come in Japan. Uh, you, will, you will not face any problem. Okay, that was wonderful. So we have a next question is that if you want to study in Japan, are the universities a good choice? Yeah, you know that uh, Japanese uh, product uh, is very precise and it's uh, uh, it, actually Japanese product uh, accuracy and its quality uh, almost 100. So you can buy any product uh, of Japanese without any hesitation. And from Japan, we also buy any product without any testing and anything, but still now we didn't find any fault. 
So uh, for, because Japanese research and Japanese uh, academic system is very fair and clear. So, and their ethical issue is very good. So you can choose uh, any Japanese university for research or for a study, and you will find there are lots of professor uh, who, who, who's um, nationality in Indian and also others. So actually in Japan, we, we will not find any discrimination. Uh, you can uh, also contact with Japanese professor and uh, you can uh, remotely or any others, any others such as conference, you can contact with the professor. So basically I also, uh, I meet a professor in Bangladesh uh, in IEEE conference. And uh, in the, uh, that conference, I got a um, uh, best, best award paper and the Japanese professor uh, instantly offered the scholarship for a study in Japan. So conference uh, is a very good uh, place for communicating uh, with a professor, uh, not only Japan, but also other countries. So my uh, suggestion, uh, try to contact uh, with Japanese professor using mail and your uh, research team and make short note and at least uh, try to publish two or three conference paper. Yeah. So uh, there's another question uh, that is research better than jobs? And how are the, uh, I mean, how are the major areas of research in machine learning and AI domain in Japan? Can you like, explain some of them um, actually uh, machine learning and deep learning is a recently its demand is demand increasing so and uh, it's under research i also know that bart uh, google bart chat uh, gtp so they are recently uh, expressed their um, value and uh, and everyone is trying to using this but sometimes it's uh, make the false or incorrect answer. So it's still under research. So, so like this, uh, like this, others of field also trying to better in AI. And uh, one day and uh, today or tomorrow, AI will capture all the sector. So uh, you should uh, study if you uh, in AI or data science related, and you should uh, come in Japan because this is uh, Japan is very. Uh, suitable place for research, and uh, res and in Japan uh, the research uh, the salary of the researchers is very high level. Uh, so I my recommendation uh, research uh, uh, researching job, uh, not only job researching job is very um, uh, vital position or top level position in Japan. So if you get the job uh, uh, any industry or any university. So I think uh, you should join as a researcher or a data scientist. Also, actually, uh, if you join as a researcher, it will be university. Or if you join uh, in an industry, you will, your decision will be data scientist. The, the, the job is same, just research. OK. Uh, another question that we have is, what about the cost of living and the salary offered to the foreigners? Yeah. It's a very vital issue. Uh, I shared you about that. There are uh, one is to three uh, job employee and job circular. So in uh, actually in every place, people make a system for survive. So in Japan, the huge cost for survive, but their income also high. So uh, if a people stay in village, his uh, income may be 20,000 20, rupee. He, if he spent uh, 10,000, he can save another 10,000. But in Japan, uh, you will earn at least uh, five lakh. Uh, so you, you, uh, you have to spend uh, for living 2.5. Lack. Uh, another portion will be same. Okay, so the uh, cost uh, as Japan is the first world country, the living cost is very high, but salary also high, and it's every hour Japanese uh, yen are paid uh, 
1,400 yen, that is uh, 12 dollars $12 every hour. Uh, but in South Asia, if, uh, most of the time it's a daily uh, OS uh, is almost like this, uh, uh, $1.14. Uh, and this is the, in Japan is one hour, and in South Asia is one day is equivalent. So uh, the, the cost will be very high, but there are lots of opportunity to, uh, to earn money. But uh, from Japan, from outside of Japan, especially for developing country, it is very difficult to, to take the remittance from the home country. Uh, if uh, your parent is not so rich, it will be difficult. But uh, uh, anyone can come in Japan and get the job and he can and, uh, and spend his daily life without any hesitation, living, food, others, and academic. Thank you, Dr. Hussain, for answering all the questions very diligently. We have a few more. Is there any pay gap between natives and foreigners? No, there is no discrimination between the black, white, religious, uh, Japanese, foreigners. Uh, so all are treated as the same. And you will uh, be aware that uh, uh, during the corona, uh, Japanese government pay huge amount for each of the people, whatever he Japanese or foreigner. Okay, and also there are lots of Japanese building uh, and foreigners and Japanese the same rule for getting the Japanese building. It's called uh, Danchi. So there is no discrimination. And also there, there are lots of facility for the child. Uh, he can freely high school, take year. So everything. Yeah, so that's good to hear. So we have our last two questions. The one is, how did you decide to become a data scientist? Can you share your journey? What 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 was it like? Actually, uh, in my country, I was a network engineer in the bank. So uh, most of the time, uh, actually, I was very interested in research because uh, I, I don't know, from the childhood, I, I thought, thought about different things uh, in different way. Uh, but uh, after joining as a network engineer, most of the time I have to follow the Cisco or routing in policy uh, and uh, just making the command, implementing the network and data is coming or not, just uh, network implementation and maintenance. So uh, later on, when I got uh, the, the PhD, uh, I, I try, I'm trying to switch my job where I can show my creativity. So, and uh, I, I see that there are lots of opportunity as a data scientist and I can apply, uh, I can employ, I can apply for my knowledge uh, for creativity. And also machine learning, I learned about machine learning in my bachelor, also masters, also PhD. So there is a scope in machine learning, deep learning, and, and, and applying statistics and making thinking and uh, storytelling. So huge, uh, huge opportunity to uh, uh, implement my knowledge. So I, I thought I should, I should I switch my job. And uh, also the salary is another issue because uh, uh, data scientists are paid a high level salary uh, in Japan, America and others. So I, switch this uh, i switched a network to data science uh, data science and i am trying to do better day by day and also and data science actually is a uh, huge area uh, i already shared with you um, the statistics mathematics uh, probability hypothesis testing linear algebra calculus database and uh, data visualizations like power bi taboo excel cloud computing, and uh, as well as the own creativity. So I think uh, if I stay in this field, it's not uh, for all, because uh, there are lots of diploma students uh, who uh, just uh, make a short uh, course on networking or others and uh, become a uh, employee. But in uh, data science field, there are lots of 
study, struggle, and you have to know more and more. So it's not an easy work. But uh, if you take the challenge, uh, you will reach the top level. So I always try to take the challenge in my life and I switched the job and choose the data science. That was quite a journey. Uh, we yeah. have the last question. How can we prepare and practice for the interview? Uh, I already uh, shared the last uh, interview. First, uh, you should uh, select the company uh, using the LinkedIn or Indeed, J Rink or any senior. Uh, later on, uh, you should study very precisely the website of the company and make a note and uh, make a slide uh, and make an appointment for interview and try to answer specifically. Uh, and also if they ask about the company, you should hear about the company's um, service, production and uh, environment. So uh, it, uh, the recruiter will be aware about that you are very interested. Actually, they uh, try to extract your intention. Uh, are you very interested to do the job or just you are apply and you are wasting the time of the recruiter? So like this. So if you face uh, two or three or four uh, interview with the Japanese people, you will familiar with the uh, person and you will be used to. So uh, uh, my suggestion, don't give up, carry on and, uh, and uh, try to more and more practice. And if you get the success, I think Japan will be very uh, good for you because uh, in the Southern country, if you work um, 30 years, your savings uh, will not be very good. But if you work in Japan for 10 years, uh, and if you stay another 20 years without any job, you can uh, lead a free life because salary or money is a very vital key for life, okay? So I, I think uh, uh, you should, uh, also there are lots of senior of, uh, who lives in uh, Japan or uh, an Indian. So you can also uh, try to contact with them and uh, their situation and uh, their experience of interview. So it will help you. Okay. That was very insightful. So thank you, Dr. Hussain, for taking out the time for us and delivering this immensely insightful session on a busy Monday. We really are thankful. Thank you. So guys, I hope you liked the Pacific Data Summit 2023. We really hope that it was as exciting for you as it was for us. So please fill the feedback form and it will help us in bringing you such content in the future. Thank you, Dr. Hussain. Thank you. May I leave? Yeah, sure, please. Thank you. Guys, please fill the feedback form before you leave.